loves this little thing. She can't be more than 16. Every time she gives me a manicure, she tells me she's having a different affair. And she tells me everything. I mean, all the real hot and juicy details. <laughs> I can't even keep my fingers still. Shut up. I'm thinking. the bottomless resources of your imagination. Surprise me, the way you always do. Come on, Don, let's get some juice. Hey. And the hell does he think I am, an acrobat? Hello, Tom. Where's the body? In the den. You gonna need us around here? No, that's okay, thanks. We'll take off then. It's all yours. Sure. Hey, you coming, Mitchell? Yeah. I'm all the Dini officer. Just come this way. It's like one of those wetbacks. He ran to that wall, pulled a gun from my gun rack. Fortunately, I got to another gun sooner. He grabbed that coat. I had no choice. I had to shoot him. A pretty clean job.
those guns loaded? Some of them. Not always sure which. The guests are leaving. Party's over. Anybody told me I could leave? I did. Well, there's a police investigation going on here. My guest has to be at his desk at 8 in the morning. He's an important person. My secretary will give you their names and addresses. Mitchell. What's yours? Well, find him wherever he is. And raise Alex, will you? And get hold of Miss Tretta. Tell him to talk to Galano. Good morning, sir. Oh, Chief Allen. Morning, Chief. Mitchell's here. Give me three aspirins and a glass of water, then coffee. Make it strong and black. Mitchell. People don't like you. In fact, I don't care for you myself. Why is that? You refuse to sign this report. Why? What kind of a policeman are you anyway? What are you gonna do, file a separate report? I don't know. What do you know? None of Dini's other guns were loaded. Now, the collection's way up high on the wall. The burglar here only looks to be about five fours all. So, what does that prove? If Dini's lying, he's not gonna get away with it. You're gonna get me hot damn mad, Mitchell. When the shit hits the fan, I wouldn't want to be in your shoes. Now get out. Right. See you all, Mitch. You got an assignment for you. And remember, don't you dare go near Deanie. You forget about him. Come in, Mitchell. Take a seat. Chief Powell has ordered the surveillance of a man called James Arthur Cummins. James Arthur Cummins? Yeah, you heard him? No. It's a 24-hour surveillance, and I want you to stay with him until A, you bug him enough that he cracks, or B, he comes up with some kind of statement or incriminates himself concerning a crime in Mexico. Okay. Who do I get? You get nobody. Huh? Nobody. Uh, what do I do for sleeping? How about eating? Nothing's gonna happen in the middle of the night. Oh. You got six hours shut-eye from midnight to 6 a.m. Now, Mitchell, those are Palin's orders. You want to call him? See Tyzak, he'll take you to Cummins' place. Import, export of stolen merchandise. That is Cummings' big scene. This week, it's a big heroin hijack. Comes out of Mexico, a kilo. Full kilo, now that's two million bucks. Maybe Palin's idea of a joke, but leaning on Cummings is no joke, my friend. No one leans on Cummings because he stamps on people, and he's got a big shoe. Well, let me ask you something, then. Yeah? If Palin gave you this job of leaning on Cummings, would you say he's giving you a good assignment? Huh. I'd say that he was quietly shipping you out of the way. Well, I got them both, Deanie and Cummings. No way. You don't get neither. Well, that's what Palin thinks, right? Right. Wrong.
Come in. Come in. Uh, Mitchell, police department. Then if it's not due till January, son. Uh, Mr. Cummins. Make an appointment, son. Have your chief give me a ring. Mr. Cummins. No salesman at this entrance. What do you know about a man named Estrada and some heroin hijacked down in Mexico? Heroin? Yeah, Cuernavaca, Mexico, uh, about a kilo. It's you know, a truck, ambushed, hijacked, you know. Look, Mitchell, this is Los Angeles, California. I don't know anything about heroin. Or somebody's got his wires crossed. Oh. Well, I've been told to watch you, Mr. Cummins, so I guess that's what I'm going to do. Can I give you some advice, then? Oh, yes, sir. Watch out for falling rocks. edition of the news on KKRO. a load of merchandise I'm supposed to be shipping in. I got cops sitting on me. They tell me this and I don't know this. You did what? Get your ass over here and don't you argue with me. Just drive around the block. Bugging you. Listen, you punk, for the future, next time you start something, you tell me before you start it, not afterwards. And ship the dope someplace else. I got this cop in my tail. It's on the water, Cummins. What's on the water? The merchandise. Well, it's not coming through my facilities. You can't go nowhere else. Why not? Why not? Because that's the way Mr. Galano wants it. And because maybe it's in San Pedro now or tomorrow. It's too late, Cummins. Well, if it comes through San Pedro, I'm not going to touch it. And it's now I will not touch it. Cummins, you are not in a position to say such things. And before you open your big mouth again, you better think of Mr. Galano. I say it, boy, because I mean it. Fifty-five, Mitchell. Come in, Mitchell. Log this report. It's timed, uh... 24, 17 hours. I'm at the Dini residence. I'm putting my gun in the glove compartment and locking it. Fifty-five. What's that supposed to mean? Fifty-five. You read me? If I'm shot in the next couple of hours, I was unarmed when it happened. Log it. Fifty-five out.
Sit him off. What in the hell are you up to, Deanie? And what I tell you, I told you to forget Deanie. Do you know who he is? Yeah, he's a trade union lawyer. And I gave you a direct order to forget him. Now, why'd I give you that order? And I'm going to tell you why. Every federal law violation in the book, and they're going to throw it against Deanie and his trade union. They've been working on this thing for over two years. Now, in the meantime, you get back out there on Cummins and you stay with them. Deanie is FBI property. Right, boss. Don't you think I'm as good as anything here? You've got me wrong. I'd like a glass. Uh, you want a towel? You want to lick it off? She's an anarchist. Who? The playmate of the month. Oh, yeah. Maybe I need a gimmick or something. We've got her here with a bomb in her hand.
If the client calls, tell them I gave you a good time. Oh, sure. 100%. Thank you. I never thought about you that way. Last night, I had to come to my home, Salvador Mysterio, my cousin. He has complaints against you. He's a punk. Uh-huh. Who convinced you to finance that hijack? You know, if you want drugs, you can grow them, you can buy them. The stealing is greedy. May I remind you of something, Cummins? Sure. In August of 1963, you, me, and some others, we had a very fine meeting in which we allowed you influence in this area in exchange for certain assignments to be handled by you. So? That was very generous, yes? Fair enough. Now it's your turn. We will take delivery of Salvador's shipments through your contacts at the port, okay? I'm not bringing that shipment in, and that is fine. I made a decision about you. I got a lot of things in my mind at the moment. Now, you're getting too heavy to carry. I'm sorry. You feel that way, Mr. Cummins? I do. Are you going to get lost or not? Well, I'd like to, but there are some questions that... You're saying no. I'm saying no. Thought I'd give you the chance.
Yeah. Rudy, I got pressure. Who's pushing? Miss Stretta. Miss Stretta? You can handle him. Well, there are problems. Unless, of course, he's backed by Galano. You got it. What the hell are you calling me for? Well, I'll tell you, it's about a little discussion between me and Miss Stretta. You got a short answer, Collins. You want to get the same answer off any of the boys? If Galana's involved, I don't want any part of it. Well, this is all going to blow up pretty soon. And when it does, who have we got on our side? One lousy cop, if he's still around. He's not on our side, sir. Yes, he is. I'm no good to him dead. following me or not? Yes, sir. Now you start following me and stop wasting the taxpayers' money. You betcha. Well, let's get going. 55, come in, please. Sit by Mitchell. That old Mustang you asked about, we have the details. What about him? charging with. He's just going to be out on bail within an hour unless Cummins cooperates and he won't. Mitchell, I want action. Now bring one of them in here and make sure he's in our hands for two weeks or more. Okay? Okay. You cookie stealer.
correct time? 10 to 12. That guy coming sure gets around. Sir, that's sure some schedule he's got. Don't bother me, mister. The anti-social type, huh? Private type. And you should let other people have their privacy. Your job was coming. I've been busy. Oh, really? Hey, is that guy with the leg wounds he talked yet? Nope. You're facing a disciplinary charge for shooting him. Hey, what the hell? You wanted him for two weeks of no bail. That's how you got him. I didn't expect you to shoot him. Oh, you asshole, Aldridge. You shouldn't have blown your cover like that. I'll go phone headquarters. <laughs> well, I'm not ashamed of being a policeman, Mr. Cummins. Of course you're not ashamed, and that's your trouble. Get the wall. Get him. <coughs> <coughs> 
You, I couldn't afford it. What's so special about me is that I'm expensive and sometimes tax deductible. To be specific, in what cases are you tax deductible? To be specific, I'm tax deductible when I'm being laid by a corporation. Oh. You couldn't afford me, Mitchell, so be grateful for what you've got. Hey, hey. I always go to bed for money. No, for money I always go to bed if you get the difference. You mean you're not choosy? That's right. At my price, I'm not choosy. What about freaks? I've never known a freak who could afford a thousand bucks a night. A thousand bucks a night? Will John's pay you a thousand bucks a night? Plus expenses. Uh, what expenses? Sometimes there are expenses. Be specific. Be specific. Be specific. What are you doing? Ghosting my life story or something? Uh, I'll make some coffee, please. went through that Tuesday. 
but this is Thursday. You need to get busted for this. God, it must be have to be very straight. You implying that I'm not straight? You're as bent as Tower of Pisa. Your only trouble is you don't know it. You really think I take some sort of a payoff, huh? You already have, haven't you? Oh, wait a minute. You were a Christmas gift. That's what you said. Did I? Didn't you? Damn right. And that doesn't make me the cooperative type. So you just watch your pretty mouth. So bust me. You're a policeman and that's grass. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. You sure know how to bring a girl down. He just lays me, then busts me. Of course she asked me to. What? Lay her or bust her? Both. That will be taken into account, Miss Adams, uh, when your case is heard. Have you any other offenses you'd like for us to take into consideration while you're in this kind of a mood? Yeah. He hung up on this guy. That's a mistake, lady. Not an offense. When can I see my lawyer? We'll take care of it for you. But I'm afraid it'll take an hour or so. Hey, it's only a $500 fine. Not a thousand dollars a night is to lay it. Oh, you're a mean bastard, Mitchell. I had a clean record in this town. Oh. Hey. Make sure she signs the property receipt. Hey. You really laid that? Yep. Ask him to come in. Say that it's important. Say that I have to see him. Yes, sir. Stop messing around. Well, what does that mean? I want to put you on the payroll. Why, your payroll? Well, look, I'm in trouble. You sensed it. You know it. And I know it. Specifically, what trouble? Well, the idea of the payroll. Now, I get to ask the questions. I need help. I need help from any source that I can get it. You want to put it on the line? I want to buy your services. Your voice on the phone in case I need the help of your police department. Let me just, uh... Write the details of your bribe down, Mr. Cummings. City Hall said they saw you in court this morning with a hooker that you sleep with and occasionally arrest. What else they tell you? She's too expensive and you can't afford her on a policeman's salary. Now, somebody's picking up the check. Who could that be? Uh, you. Me what? 
Be a picking up the chair. No, I don't. I don't pay for your oars, Mitchell. Then who is? You mean you don't know? You're a cop and you don't know? You know, I admire a man like you. You take your time, you're cool. Yes, sir. How's the broad? That's what I came to talk about. You know what it costs to keep you sweet? A hundred bucks an hour. She tells me it happens all night. Well, you figure it out. That's like a thousand bucks before breakfast. As far as I'm concerned, she is some broad who wants to get laid. <laughs> you want to see the receipts? You're wasting your money, Danny. Let me be the judge of that. She'll lie in my bed for nothing. You really think so? I arrange a hundred dollar company in your name to negotiate the transfer of a piece of real estate. For let's say $25,000. You haven't got $25,000, but I'll get your bank loan. All legitimate. The real estate you buy will be a piece I designate, and you'll buy it from one of my subsidiary companies. Then I'll buy it off you for let's say 100 Gs. That'll give you a clear profit of $75,000. And who's to say it isn't a genuine investment? Well, what do you think? I'm going to bust you for the murder of the Mexican. Or I'll die trying. You're making the biggest mistake of your life. Mitchell, the strain 
Sage place for a meeting. That's the only place I can catch up with Sam. Why don't you follow me down the road? <laughs> What do you mean, how would I like Walter Deeney? If I give you Deeney, if I set it up so you can get him on something that really sticks, will you help me out? I'll set it up. Just leave it to me. Well, what's your answer? I want a fish and you offer a shrimp. I'll get Deeney. The way I see it, you first and then Deeney. You just shut on yourself, boy. <laughs>
life should be Good memories and times Children on a sunny day Believing that it's only play But every day I find Every day I find Life's heavy on my mind More news. Los Angeles flavor figure Walter Hardini died today with the June bug. came last night. No. My mother doesn't like you. Well, I don't like your mother. Why not? Why not? No, why not? No, why not? Why are you repeating what I say? Why are you repeating what I say? I'm not. Well, I'm not. You are. Piss off. What? What? What did he say? What did you say? Did you say something? Did you say something? You said piss off. You're lying through your teeth. You're lying through your teeth. Now piss off, huh? Piss off. Now piss off, kid. Why don't you have me arrested? Because you want me to. No, I don't want you on an assault charge. I want everything. I want you and Mastretta and Alita Galano and the lousy heroine. Maybe you'll get him. I wonder if I should have a talk with you, Mitchell. I wonder if you should too, Cummins. You scared of coming to the house? No. I give you my word, nothing will happen to you this time. I'm not scared of you, Mother Cummins. Too late, told me that the heroin was on the water coming through my operations to San Pedro. Now he tells me when the stuff is already on its way. What up next? Well, the Strata phoned a little while back. It was an ultimatum. I had an hour to reply. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna think, Mitchell. Then I'm gonna call the Strata back and tell him that it was okay to use my port facilities. And? I'm gonna set it up, hand it over to you. That sounds just a little too good to be true. You buy it? How's this stuff going to come in? Well, a rich woman in a big car is going to pick up her luggage that she sent ahead after her vacation in Acapulco. You're going to be the chauffeur. And then, uh... And you rendezvous with Miss Trevor. Where is this? Well, he has a house in Calabasas. Now, you get the heroin. You get Miss Trevor. You don't get me, understood? You don't get me. All right, what time does this start happening? Signature. Here, here, and here. Your initials here. And if you'll fill out this customs declaration. And what do I write under contents? Personal. And value? One hundred dollars.
let me talk to Miss Stretta. For you. Yeah. Okay, Miss Stretta, the consignment's on its way. I hope everything goes smooth. There's one slight alteration in the arrangements. You know that cop that's been bugging me, Mitchell? He's bringing you this stuff. I don't believe you. Do. Are you out of your mind? No, I'm going to be out of my boat. You just tie up all the loose ends. Mitchell knows a lot. Now get this stuff and then deal with them in your own way. Oh, uh, Sergeant. Uh, you might want to tell Chief Pallon that uh, one of his boys, that uh, Mitchell character, yeah, well, he's uh, heading for trouble in Calabasas. Yeah. I didn't have anything to do with all this. You mean this heroin? Yes. It ain't smack, lady. It's chalk. Cummins is crossing Galano. You sure you won't be in the middle of this? Huh? Go on, take a walk, huh? What? Walk. Come on, move. Now, come on. Watch out for traffic. just the driver and nobody's following. Giorgio. I read you. See any other cars down there? Anything? No, nothing. Well, keep your eyes open. Okay. Park your car. I'll be out.
keys. Come and says you're a cop. Says you're the cop who keeps following him. He says kill you. I think he has a point. He's leaving on a boat out of Marina del Rey. I'm gonna put your body on that boat and then call the Coast Guard. <laughs> what made you come here alone? Come and said you were friendly people. Okay, boy, where's the stuff? I think I hit it. Where? It's in the John at gas station outside the docks. Get in. Go. Up. Right, right. He let the tank!
Close door to catch him. Right.
Ben! Ben! kick out of this kind of thing. Uh, how'd you get in here? Through the door. It was locked. Uh. May I put my hands down now? Well, that's the kitchen. I had to eat. Oh, well, you could at least wash the dishes. There's no machine. Look, where I come from, you're washing the sink and you dry it with a cloth. Now try it before you leave. Hey! Glass. 
Yeah, that's grass. Get your coat. He's such a super dude, the American dream, like the guys on the movie screen. My, 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 Mitchell, what would your mama say if she ever knew that you were crawling out and carrying on that way? Cracking in heads and jumping in and out of beds and hanging around the criminal scene. Do you think you are some kind of a star like the guys on the movie screen? When they take a look at the record book, they will find you got a lot of class. Catching the gang with a whole shit bang. Arrest and paint ladies for a little gang. Oh, my, 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 Mr. Criminal, you better hide in underground. Cause Mitchell's gonna be coming your way. Just when you think you're safe, whoops, you've been found. You